Hello viewers, in this video we are going to do a short tour on our Garden Guru's raft system that you purchased. The raft system comes with 12 planting sites and this is how it looks. It comes with a, uh, a locked lid. There are two locks in the front which if you push outwards you can easily open the lid. Inside let's see what all comes with the package and what are their functions. First thing you see the big packet in this is the expanded clay balls. They are used for adding additional support to the plants when you plant them in the net pot. The next thing that you see is the seed packets. Usually gar the Garden Guru's raft system comes with three varieties of seeds. The varieties keep changing over the year due to the seasonal variations. In this we have butterhead lettuce, basil and Swiss chard. The next thing that you see is the jiffy packets. These are called jiffy plugs used for germinating the seeds. The next is the mineral nutrition that we provide with the system. This is a hydroponic two-part solution which can make 100 liters of nutrient solution, final nutrient solution. We have part A and part B stapled together. And the next one is the air pump. This air pump is connected to the system and it is run 24 cross 7 to ensure ample oxygen supplies in the nutrient solution. You also have air tubing with a diffusing stone. In addition to these two, you also are given a small part which is called a non-return valve. This ensures the air flow is only one direction and water doesn't come out due to a siphoning action. And the last one you see is the net pots. This is where you put the germinated seedling into it and place this in the holes provided on the lid just like how it is shown. Yes. You also have a instruction manual that comes with the system that explains how to put the system together, how to start your seedlings and also how to make your nutrient solution. Let's get to getting the system up and running for the first time. You will find the nutrient solution in a two part formulation. Part A which has prills and a brown colored substance and part B which is a fine white powder. Our, our goal now is to make a nutrient solution concentrate with these two packets provided. So what I have done is I have taken two 1 liter bottles each of one liter capacity bottle a and i have labeled them as bottle a and i have labeled the other one as bottle b so in bottle a fill it up up to one liter of ro water and likewise in bottle b as well fill it up to one liter of ro water and bottle a empty the contents of packet a which has marked a and likewise in bottle b you can empty the contents of b now shake the bottles well with the lid closed and ensure they are completely dissolved. Now once they are dissolved, your nutrient solution concentrate for making 100 liters of final solution is ready. Now these two are two part solutions. They cannot be mixed with each other in the concentrated form. If you do accidentally mix, the nutrients will start precipitating and they will not be available for plants. So ensure you don't mix these two in the concentrated form. That's all you need to remember now. But right now we have achieved the goal of making the concentrated nutrient solution which is 100x so if you take one liter of a and one liter of b add it into 100 liters of water that will be your 100 liter final nutrient solution now we are going to set up the air pump for the raft system so the air pump comes in a box like this open the box and keep the air pump outside and you will see a small nozzle um, for putting the uh, air tube and the plug point to power it up. On the other side you have a, a, a stone which is for diffusing the air and another small connector. The first step is there is a small uh, hole provided in the lid for the air stone. <coughs> yeah, so <coughs> the open end of the diffuser stone into the hole on the lid yeah now you took it out <coughs> stone should be inside the raft and the other end of the thing should be taken out now you should connect the non-return valve to the system there are two sides to a non-return valve the one side that has a black color part and the other side that's a clear part 
the black color part should always be facing towards the pump the air pump so connect the transparent side towards the air store just like what is shown yeah yes so the non return valve is connected one side of it the other side will be connected using a small tubing which is provided extra yeah yes so now this connection is complete now we need to connect this open end in to the air bubbler <coughs> uh, yeah so this the other end of the nozzle goes into the air bubbler yes so now the air bubbler is connected the diffuser is inside and the non return valve is also set up now the next stop is to keep this ready for us to power it up later the next step is we prepare the nutrient solution and fill it up in the last step we finished setting up our air bubbler including the non return valve etc now we will go into filling up the reservoir with water and then making a nutrient solution out of it we have uh, filled up the reservoir with 12 liters of water which is just enough for the net pots to be able to touch if you fill up 12 liters and then place the net pots on top of it you will be able to the water just touching the net pot so that is the right uh, depth of water in your wrap system now we have 12 liters of water we need to make nutrient solutions out of it for 12 liters of water uh, from our 100 times concentrated solution we need to add 120 ml of solution a and 120 ml of solution b so that's what we are going to do now first let's measure 120 ml of solution a for this i have a measuring cylinder marked with 120 ml <coughs> mark so that's what i'm going to do now now we have filled it up to 120 ml of solution a and we dissolve it into the we pour it into the reservoir once you pour it you mix well so that there are no concentrate not mixed so you need to mix the entire solution thoroughly now up to solution b now we are going to pour solution B 120 ml up to the mark. Now mix that as well. Though we have mixed the nutrient solution, there is one important part remaining. You need to adjust this pH of the solution, which is very important. For this, please refer to another video of ours on how to balance the pH of the solution. Now the nutrient solution uh, preparation is complete. <clears throat> the diffuser is inside and you can close the lid and put the locks in place. Now this system is ready for planting. After you adjust the pH, uh, <clears throat> for beginners we use 100 uh, times concentrate dilution. But if you have an easy meter with you, it is always wise to use an easy measurement for deciding how much of solution A and how much of solution B to be added to the nutrient solution. Now the next step is we switch on the air bubbler to start bubbling the nutrient solution. Now we are going to switch on the air pump to start the air diffusion. So now you can see the air bubbler is switched on and it's doubling oxygen as well as air into the mixer, uh, nutrient solution. This will ensure the ample oxygen levels are available for the roots at all times. Do not switch off the pump, it has to be running 24 hours a day. So far we saw how to get started with the raft system. We went through all the contents of this package, what are they and what are their functionality and we also put them together. We connected the air pump, we made the nutrient solution. So now we are all set. Now the most important thing of the whole presentation is to get the plants on this system. So we have supplied Jiffy plugs along with this if you remember. So we have raised the seedlings in this. 
So you can see lettuce seedlings in, in the Jiffy plugs that we supplied. So if you are not sure of how to start seeds in the Jiffy plug, you can watch our one of our previous videos um, that details how to use Jiffy plugs for seed starting. So now we have the seedlings and we have the raft system filled up with nutrients balanced and all that. So how we plant the seedlings is what we are going to do now. So please take the net pots that are provided with the system and you can simply take one Jiffy plug with a plant and just place them gently in the center. So this is how you place the Jiffy plug into the net pot and sometimes the plants are taller they may need some additional support. So for that what we do we have this expanded clay that are supplied with the contents. So these expanded clay has to be washed once so that the dust is all removed. So we just simply spread them around. So it comes like this. We put the plant, we add some expanded clay around it. Now it is fit snugly. So now we just place it simply on the system. Likewise, we just have to re repeat this step for all. Take the net pot, place the plug in the, like this. Just hold it for support. Take some expanded clay and fill it up on the sides. This is mostly optional. If your plant fits well into the net pot, you, don't, you can even avoid adding this. We add this to provide additional support to the small seedling. And so we're going to just repeat the process. When you do this, ensure you don't bury the plant with the expanded clay. We usually recommend you grow your seedlings using Jiffy plugs, but there are also other alternatives such as foams, oases, foam cubes, or even simple cocoa peat mixture. So now we have all the 12 plants planted and they are fully supported with expanded clay. So we used about half of the expanded clay that is supplied so you can keep the rest for future use. And we are also, uh, we are also done with the nutrient solution. So we just have to keep this in a, a sunny place and then power it on. And uh, then you have to wait, keep, keep uh, checking the plant every other day monitor the plants how are they doing are they growing they're not growing then you also should keep checking the ph and ec levels of the nutrient solution so how to use your ph instrument and ec instrument and how to manage the nutrient solution how to maintain your ph meter what is calibration all that we're going to watch in the next video so stay tuned until then thanks for watching bye bye